wanted to provide a tutorial on managing control terminologies. I'm going to demonstrate uh, some of the usage through this tool called ThesQA. But the first thing that you should do with your control terms is to understand the coded terms and the decoded values. An example is here are some of the uh, coded terminologies from CDISC. And for example, the um, this, the sex could be one for MF, uh, three for both. There could be many different types of control terminologies. It can extend into those values for uh, MEDRA as well. Um, MEDRA dictionaries and other types of thesaurus dictionaries uh, such as who drug and um, but that's beyond this topic. I'm going to focus specifically on coded terminologies and so the first thing that you should do is load your uh, dictionaries from your specific study. I'm just going to choose this example study. Now in this particular study there's a lot of numbered valued uh, control terms. For example, uh, in the database they enter the value of 1 for um, the equaling yes and 2 equaling no. Let me zoom in a little bit for you to see. So this 1 yes no is a simple control term to facilitate data entry. However, from a CETA standpoint, um, that may not be very useful uh, from the standard uh, CETA implementation. So once you load it, this is essentially either a format catalog or it could be a SAS dataset with the coded terms um, and then the decoded values. So it could be uh, many different terms that you have within your study. Um, let me, uh, some of them can be even like units where um, depending on what lab values they've entered, you may have coded some of their unit values. So the first thing you want to verify is how standardized is that compared to a standard dictionary uh, control terminology such as CDISC. So I've loaded here the CDISC terminology and then my sample study terminology. And then I'm going to go ahead and run a comparison. And so this comparison report, which will um, analyze many different things, comparing each terms from the CDIS uh, control terms and compare them against uh, the terms that you have in your uh, study data. If there's a match, or even if there's a partial match, it will describe what those are with the intention that you can then um, correct any mismatches. So here's an example report. Uh, so in this case, there are four different categories in which the report is displayed. There's um, 10 items that the decoded values match, but then the coded terms do not match. Let me show you an example. So if I drill down to that, the original study that I have has numeric values, as I mentioned. So they may have coded, you know, the value of number 2 for death. Let me zoom in a little bit for you to see. And then, um, but the, the word death for the decoded value does match CDISC. CDISC also has a death. However, their coded terminology is a word. Uh, now, it's common in Atom to have a numeric value, but SDTM, normally it's a coded term that's a, a character. So DTH is an abbreviated coded term for death, but in the study, um, we had used uh, the value number of 2. And for example, uh, a numeric value of 97 is uh, used within the study, but then if you were to look for the value of not done in CDISC, they use ND. So these are examples where by looking at terms that do have matches from the standpoint of the decoded values, but then the coded values do not match. This is when you should consider maybe changing your coded values um, at least during the submission so that the define XML um, is documented correctly so that um, the control terminologies when you drill down has the right coded values. Here's a series of the term other. Now the code that was used in the study 
was actually inconsistent across different um, values, coded terms. Some of them are four, some of them are six, and the value is other. But if you were to look, to look at CDISC, it's consistently uh, OTH, uh, O, which is other. So it, it, the, these are examples where you may want to correct your control terminologies to be consistent with CDISC. Now the report also analyzes if they're exact matches, that is, both your study control terms match with CDIS. This is an example where none of those occurred. And then there's also cases where it's going to compare um, things that have mismatches. Now in this case there are many mismatches, 256 cases of where their terms uh, in the source, which is uh, the CDISC, or the, the study does not match the CDIS and vice versa. So this is a handy uh, tool, but you can write your own prop uh, compare along with a data step to generate a report like this with the goal of comparing your control terms to those of CETA standards so that you can update it for um, the final data definition documentation in the Define XML.